everybody, I'm Delicia. Thanks for tuning in to the Cigar Vixen channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the H. Upman, AJ Fernandez, the Nicaraguan beauty. Um, this cigar was on my top five list for the year um, that I published. I believe I put it out on New Year's Day, but it's actually a list for the top cigars for 2017. And I didn't realize until after I published that that I actually hadn't done a full review of this stick. And so I saw some requests for that. And although I'm doing it a little bit late, um, better late than never. So here goes the review. This is again the H. Upman. It was a collaboration with um, Altidus, who owns H. Upman and of course the non-Cuban version, and AJ Fernandez who has really just blown up in this market. I mean, he's always done really good sticks, but now he's starting to, of course, the last couple years make cigars for other people and collaborating with them, and those cigars have done very well. And so what's great about this stick, all aside from it tasting good, is the fact that it's very um, inexpensive, so it's a really good price point. It's it comes in three different sizes. So there's a Robusto, a Toro, and a Churchill, all ranging in price from about $7.25 to just under $8, again, depending on the size and where you buy it. But that's roughly around the price point. So again, great value on this cigar. And that was one of the reasons I put it on my top five because I did have a mixture of cigars on there. But again, it's always good for those of us who smoke often or even for those of us who don't maybe smoke often, um, it's still good to find cigars that are within a, a lower price point that still tastes good, so the tobacco is still good. Um, one of the reasons I believe that AJ's always, kind of all his cigars are, are very affordable is because he does pretty much everything. So he's not somebody that necessarily buys a lot of tobacco elsewhere. He grows a lot of it himself where he's able to uh, you know, offer those cigars at a lower price point. So again, still good quality tobacco offered at a good price. That's always a plus. But getting right into it, taking a closer look at it, it is featuring an Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper. That's with a Nicaraguan Corojo 99 binder and then Nicaraguan and Dominican on the filler. But let's go ahead and just uh, get into it. So um, on the foot, it has a little bit of um, kind of an earthy, earthy notes to it. Nice draw to it. Sweet. Um, you pick up some sweet notes right away on that pre-lit draw. Actually, a, even a hint of citrus on that pre-lit draw. And of course, I can't help but mention the pretty color of the band. That's the, the girl in me talking. It really stands out in a humidor when you're walking in. Uh-oh. When you walk into a humidor and you notice, um, you know, the band. There's a lot of really pretty looking cigars, but this one has that nice color. And I think this might be out. Let me try turning it up. Oh, there we go. Now I have all these really nice lighters and I always go for these like not super nice lighters, but they just, I have a lot of them laying around. So mm. so toasty um, in the aroma right away. Get a little feel of like an oaky barrel type of an oak uh, flavor. Cinnamon, a lot of cinnamon spice actually. Uh, cocoa, this is a little bit sweeter on the cocoa, not so much like that bitter dark chocolate cocoa, cacao bean, more of the actual true cocoa, like um, chocolatey, milk, milk chocolatey type of a feel. And a little bit of a roasted coffee Great draw to it. Nice amount of smoke output. Of course, I've been leaving this, um, my rabbit air in the background so you guys kind of get that um, 
that feel for those of you who smoke indoors. It's a great way to pull out some of that cigar smoke so you don't get, um, I had, well, I had a lot of comments when I did the video about the rabbit air. A lot of gentlemen were commenting about how their wives are not fans of the cigar smell. Um, but yeah, so I left that in the background there for you guys to kind of remind you if you're looking for something to pull out some of that cigar smell once you're done smoking, um, it's a great way to go. But anyways, flavor wise, really good. Um, again, those notes that I mentioned are all kind of mixing in here. A um, little bit of strength already. I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be a, a medium stick, but you can pick up already a little bit of that strength. So good flavor so far. Very nice and nice draw to it as well. You can pick up a little bit of black pepper through the retro, of course, as in most cigars. But um, so far, so good. So gonna go ahead and smoke it down a little bit more and check back in with you all for the second third. So coming back in for the second third on the H. Upman AJ Fernandez. Mixture of flavors, um, getting a little bit of a sun-drenched cedar, a soft wood kind of profile, um, leather, a little bit of leather in the background, anise, um, little hint of citrus. You're still picking up some notes of, of a kind of a coffee, coffee with cream in it and, and some cinnamon. So those are like the most pronounced notes that you're getting. Again, it's not a super complex cigar. Um, but it's good. I mean, there's some good notes that you're pulling out. And again, for the price point, it's a really good stick. So gonna continue to smoke it down a little bit more, of course, and check back in with you all for the final third. So coming in for the final third on the H. Upman, AJ Fernandez, the flavors um, have changed slightly into more of a combination of baking spice. You get some nutmeg, you get the anise in there, cinnamon, little bit of vanilla even. There's also a tad of citrus, like a lemon zesty feel to it. Um, coffee is certainly there. Uh, really nice, uh, little notes of the, like the milk chocolatey kind of mixed in. So overall, um, very nice stick. Again, not, well, the first third and the second third didn't seem to be very complex, but as it kept going and it got closer to, to the final third, the complexity did pick up as well as the strength level. So it starts out medium, it gets kind of almost to full as far as like the strength and the body overall, but um, really good stick, especially again for the price point for seven and change, you can't beat it. It's made, uh, sorry, it's made well. Burn line's good, the aroma's great. It's not overheating as I'm getting closer to the end of it here. Um, just again, really well made and good flavor points. Um, again, for the price, definitely recommend that you give it a try if you haven't already. And as always, I thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to reading your comments and I can't wait to see you next time. Cheers.